using NCRT. Everyone has its own way. What strategy I followed for NCRT that I'll be sharing. First of all, we'll start with biology. And uh, first of all, I'll tell you what's the importance of NCRT. And I believe 88 questions out of 90 are completely straightforward lines of NCRT or in between the lines. So you know that it has great importance. Now, how I study, like I'll, I'll define it in few points. First of all, highlighting things in NCRT of biology doesn't work for me. So because I think each and every point is important. So I used to make short notes out of it. Rather than highlighting the points, I used to make a note. Like one chapter if I'm studying, I'll make around two or three page notes in it, in which each and every point that is there, which is important, either in the form of question, I'll frame it, or I'll make a bulletin form of notes. But each and every point that is there in NCRT, whether it's important or whether it's as small as any data given, like. This year, a question came that Robert May, according to Robert May, how many species are there which are possible? So that was a statement of NCRT. If you will not revise it again, you will forget it. So I believe that if you make short notes and rather than revising the NCRT again and again, if you revise the short notes, that will definitely help you. So in biology, I used to do this way. Next very important thing that I used to do for biology was I used to discuss it with my friends. Like I had uh, one very good friend of mine. So we used to discuss like after completing one chapter from NCRT, me and my friend, we used to sit together and I used to ask questions from her and she used to ask questions from me. Like one page, we used to frame around 15 to 20 questions. Like we don't, we, 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 we have never left even a single knot also like uh, it is compactly packed or it's loosely packed we used to frame questions like that also so that used to be very fun learning and uh, it helped us enhance our grip on ncrt very well so these are the points which i think i have done uh, different from others in biology now i'll talk about chemistry so chemistry first of all we'll talk about inorganic chemistry Inorganic chemistry is same as biology, but I think it's more difficult. It used to be more difficult for me to memorize all the points. But I'll definitely suggest that in inorganic chemistry, don't go beyond NCRT. Don't read even a single statement beyond NCRT. NCRT is more than enough. But each and every point which is given and each and every box that is given. Like this year, if I give you an example, there was a question from seventh period. They give the atomic number and they ask what element is it. So if you have read NCRT, it's very easy for you. If you have not, then it will become difficult for you. So for that, what I used to do, again, I used to make a short notes of around like P block. If I give an example, it's there in 40 pages in NCRT class 12. But I made short notes out of it in around six pages. And in short notes, you don't have to leave any point. Like some people make notes in which they leave some points and they write only the important points. I used to reduce the font size. Like I used to write so small that uh, in our page only, I can cover around 100 lines or around 50 to 60 lines if a page is small. So that when you read it, like if you will open your NCRT, you will see 40 pages. Then your mind will say, oh my God, this is too much to study. But if you will see that notes, you will feel like, okay, only five pages are there. So your mind gets relaxed. So I think that helped me. So I revised, I think each and every inorganic chapter, I've revised five or six times. So make short notes out of it. There also you can use the same trick. You can discuss it with your friends, ask it with your friends and make it a fun way. Then I'll talk about organic chemistry. There I followed a different policy. There I didn't used to make short notes of each and everything. I used to make notes of all the data that is given. Because in NCRT, if I remember para orthophenol, para phenol, orthophenol, and uh, there are there are many uh, data given like of boiling point, melting point. So make it in a table, like uh, each and every chapter, make two pages, take two pages, and there, first of all, write all the reactants and the products. So don't write the mechanism of it, because that will, you know, that will lend the fine. Once you learn the mechanism, you don't need to rem memorize it again. So you just write the reactant and the product, and then the data. So two pages of one chapter, and that you revise again and again. So this way, I did organic. Physical chemistry, if I talk about, first of all, I used to study it from notes. And as such, there is not uh, much there in NCRT, but there are some chapters in class 12, like surface chemistry, which is extensively given in NCRT. So there you have to highlight it in book itself because you have not to learn all the pages. You don't have to learn each and every line there. So you have to learn only few important data. So their highlighting works. So there I used to highlight the points in the book itself, and I don't used to make short notes out of it. Then we'll talk about physics. Physics and CRT I have read in very last time, like once you do entirely your syllabus, like from module, first of all, I used to do it from my Akash module. Then I used to revise my notes. Then I used to practice around 300 to 400 questions. And after doing all this, then I went to NCRT because physics and CRT is very extensively written and it's very nice. But if you start reading it from the beginning, you won't understand it. So I used to study it at the last. 
and uh, there are also there are very few points which are very important so you have to highlight it in the book itself and then revise it like i'll tell you one question which came uh, this year only it came that copper resistivity curve was asked and if you go by the concept two answers are possible like a straight line and also and the parabolic curve as well so it's it, it was a direct question of ncrt in ncrt there is a chart given in which copper nichrome all the things are given so there if you have read it you it's very simple for you to answer the question so physics ncrt i'll suggest that do it after you have completed everything and at the last when you'll do it you'll get an extra edge over the other students so this is what i have to say